Hour number two officially underway right here on a Friday morning. Sirius XM Channel 159 Sports Grid Network. It is Joe, it is Donnie, and away we go. Now, we are previewing here the NBA, which, quite frankly, the playoffs have begun technically, but not really specifically until Saturday. We take a look at the NHL. We know who's one through eight in both sides. We know when they're playing. We know what the stakes are going to be. So moving forward, we will get to the doubleheader tonight in the NBA, but we will continue our series previews here. And you know what? Cavaliers and the Magic. This is one of those series where I look at and I sort of get a little bit of a chuckle. And Joe, obviously, we've watched tons of NFL football for the past like decade. Whenever the Houston Texans made the playoffs, we knew exactly where they were going to play. They were going to be the early slate on a Saturday, get this game out of the Mm -hmm. way, because quite frankly, it might be the least rated game. Now, moving forward, the Houston Texans might be must-see TV. That's going to change. But now we take a look at the NBA, and we found out who they actually are like, "Eh, let's get this series over with. The early game on Saturday, the Cavaliers and the Magic. The early games in games two and three, when they take network TV, Mm -hmm. they'll be at 7 o'clock here. We're not going to say these two teams will be forgotten, but certainly may be disrespected. Let's take a look at this game and set the table for the series itself. Moneyline, Cleveland, heavy favorite here, minus 205. Orlando to win the series, a plus 164 price. And this also is a 4-5 matchup that has one of the bigger spread lines where we're talking about the 76ers and the Knicks, a 2-7, which is basically a pick em and a push there. Spread line on the series, Cleveland, minus 1.5 at a plus 104 price. If you take the game and a half with Orlando, that's minus 128. As we welcome in the radio audience, you're watching and listening live here, early morning edition of the Early on or Friday. Joe Ranieri, Donnie Wright side series xm channel 159 hottest topics across the landscape that includes the nba and that's the cavaliers and the magic round number one so let me gauge your interest in this series here Cavs magic we pumped down there in florida for orlando oh i i mean listen this uh the great thing about this series is that if you've had insomnia at all over the last month <laughs> uh you can turn this game and this series on and i'm telling you you'll be out like a light uh because <laughs> I don't know who's going to win this series. Uh, I, you know, I certainly lean the magic, but I guarantee you, Donnie, I will be playing every under known to mankind when it comes to this game. Uh, the magic, though, a great home team this year, great cover team. Uh, they were terrific all year long. They've got depth. They've got youth. They force turnovers. They, they're they not great at the threes, uh, and that could be a problem. Uh, but quite honestly, I don't think Mitchell is healthy. I, as a matter of fact, I know he's not healthy. He hasn't looked healthy at all uh, since the beginning of March. So, uh, and this team, sans him, if he's only going to be 60%, 70%, they're not good enough uh, to be able to beat an upstart, hungry, young Magic team that is here in the playoff. When, did we think we would ever say the Orlando Magic playoffs? Uh, not something we have said for a very, very long time. Uh, but I do think... If Cleveland is not careful, this could very well not work out in their favor. And then I think there's huge, and I mean huge, turnover coming for the Cavs. We're talking Mitchell trade. We're talking new coach. We're talking a lot of uh, newness coming if, uh, if they get bounced here by Orlando. Yeah, it's a good point that you bring up, too, because some of those teams where you're saying, well, maybe a year ahead of its time, it's Orlando. And quite frankly, Orlando played great basketball this season. You take a look at their 47-35 mm-hmm. and 35 record. This was a team that if they made the playoffs, what were we probably talking, Joe? Oh, they made the 9 or the 10 seed here in the playing yeah. round. That's good for them. Playoff atmosphere. They get knocked out. They learn from that. But now they have a legitimate chance here as a 5 seed to possibly knock off the Cavaliers. The Cavaliers coming into this 48-34 and 34 on the season. We expected them to maybe even challenge for a number 2 or number 3 seed. They they were the benefit of, yes, we know Spider Mitchell missed a couple games this season down the stretch, but they didn't get hammered with injuries like, let's just say, the Philadelphia 76ers and the New York Knicks did. Quite frankly, they probably should have been the number two overall seed just by waiting out the Milwaukee Bucks as the New York Knicks did. But if we're looking at the season mm-hmm. series between these two, it was two to two. And this is why we have a four or five matchup. We should be seeing some superstar action. Now, granted, if we're expecting Donovan Mitchell to play and be healthy, he's certainly one of those guys that can fill up the rim. You see him shooting three-point shots a ton per game. He's a fun prop guy to have. And during the regular season, 26.6 points per game, rebounds per game five. How about this? Assists per game six. Does it all here. Paolo Boncaro, great player out of Duke here for the Orlando Magic, I believe in his second year leading the Orlando Magic into the playoffs. 22 points per game, rebounds per game, close to seven and assists five. So we do have some talent on both sides. But as a whole, 
I'm not getting a lot of excitement out of this series. And if we go back to one of the earlier graphics, when does this series end? Four games plus 470, five games plus 220, six games two to one, and then game seven plus 230. Is this going to be made for a six or seven game series or could it quite possibly be, well, the Magic aren't ready to make the playoffs just yet and it's like a five or less series here for you, Joe? Yeah, I, I do think this series is going to end rather uh, quickly here, Donnie. It, it feels like uh, we're going to know rather quickly uh, if the Magic uh, are for real, if these uh, if this young team can grow up quick enough. If Donovan Mitchell, again, is as unhealthy as I think he is, and he has not been right uh, for well over a month now, then I do think Orlando can exploit this team. I think they'll grind it out. I think they'll win a couple of games early. And then at that point, I think this thing's over in five. It, this would not shock me to be the fastest series uh, of all of them in round one. I think that's how clear we're going to get. One of these two teams is going to fold like a cheap suit. One o'clock, this series will tip off tomorrow to get the NBA playoffs underway. Magic and Cavaliers opening line at the FanDuel Sportsbook was four and a half. You know where that is today, Joe? Still at four and a half. Not a lot of movement here. Total, 207 and a half at the opening number. Only down to 207 here at the FanDuel Sportsbook. If we take a look at the betting statistics coming directly from FanDuel. How about this? Percentage of spread bets, Joe? 50-50 50-50 here. Money on the series, mm. 57% for Cleveland so far. So the public also having a tough time here betting this. 50-50, I like it. Yeah, no, I and it, wouldn't sh- it shouldn't shock you either. I mean, now granted, don't forget, the Cavs were just hit with a ton of injuries uh, down the stretch. Mm-hmm. I mean, Mobley, Struess, Donovan Mitchell, these guys all lost, missed significant games over the last month month and a half here they're all slated to be back here but i do think the reality is that orlando has been the more consistent team and defensively at home orlando has been an absolute solid team to back i think they're going to be a solid team to back here but i don't blame the public for not knowing which side to go i'm only leaning orlando at this point Yeah, and also you see Orlando is one of the better cover teams in the NBA, and certainly they can lose this game and still cover the plus four and a half. Money line in this game, number one, minus 198 at FanDuel here as a favorite towards the Cleveland Cavaliers for the Orlando Magic. That's coming in at a plus 166 Mm -hmm. price. But this game will officially kick off the NBA playoff run at one o'clock. I love the fact that we got quadruple headers coming up over the weekend. It's a great way to start and enjoy it. And the first game of the NBA, as we stated here in the playoff, Playoffs specifically will be the Magic and the Cavaliers. The series we're going to take a look at next. My goodness, man. You want star power? Is this series going to be boring? Absolutely not. It's the Suns and the T-Wolves. Find out who Donnie, myself, and Joe Ranieri like in this series. Coming up next right here on the early line.